patient is presenting with uh, pain on the lateral epicondyle, so we're going to assume that this might be a tennis, in, uh, tennis elbow. So we're going to just do a simple test to check if it creates pain. And what we'll do is I'm going to test her, see if we actually provoke pain, but then we're going to just rate that as a 10. So I want you to hold right here, nice and strong. Ready? Any pain with that? Okay. So once we know that there's actually pain associated with it, we want to find out if we can actually pull the skin in a direction that makes it feel better. So in particular, with her, I'm going to start by pulling the skin towards her, and we're going to do the same muscle test again. Hold strong. Ready? And you can tell she's actually a lot stronger when I pull the fascia in that direction. What's the pain? All right, so I'm going to just test it in a second and see if I go in the reverse direction. Sometimes it actually makes it worse, and you'll see that she weakens out. So I'm pulling it in that direction, and then, yeah, she pretty much almost caves in right away, uh, probably because the, the nociception is a lot worse. So she's weakened. Right away, that's telling me that our tape job is going to be going in this direction. Now, classically, what you've seen in kinesiology taping world is for a tennis elbow, you're just going to basically take a strip of tape, go through the extensor forearm, and cover the epicondyle. The most important thing associated with these is actually creating some kind of a neural plane that's going to improve the strength and decrease the nociception of the injury. And in her case, it's going directly across perpendicular to the tendon. So we're going to just take that tape measure it so that it's about the uh, length around the entire forearm. We're going to place the base of the tape towards the posterior. Now, once we get to that area where I created that fascial pull, we're going to use the tape to actually create that fascial pull. So you can kind of see right on the skin that I'm able to move it as I pull the tape. I'm going to use my finger to actually pull that tape and the skin over and then just paper off tension the rest of the way. That's creating that vector pull that we just did with our finger. Now we can come right back up and manually muscle test her again, and with, uh, based on our evaluation, this should actually improve the strength and decrease the pain again. So hold nice and strong. And once again, she's completely kicked in. How's the pain level? And that's usually what's gonna happen. As soon as you figure that out, the important thing is, is understanding how to tape before you actually apply the tape. That's all pre-testing. So in this case, we tested for the fascial pulls, that's the direction that made her feel the best. That's the way that we taped. And this is the way that we, tape, we would tape her lateral epicondylopathy.